Chad Daybell, his day in court is very fast approaching. His charges, well, <laughs> they are long. Count one, conspiracy to commit first-degree murder and grand theft by deception. Count two, first-degree murder of Tylee Ryan. Count three, conspiracy to commit first-degree murder by grand theft by deception. First-degree murder, J.J. Vallow. Conspiracy to commit first-degree murder, Tammy Daybell. First degree murder, Tammy Daybell, grand theft, the uh, social security benefits of Tylee Ryan and J.J. Vallow, count eight, insurance fraud from a life map uh, insurance company, and count nine, insurance fraud from Primerica Life Insurance Company. Uh, this is going to be an interesting one, and this one, it seems to be there may be a bit of uh, defense on it, more than we saw in the trial of Lori Vallow last year. Joining me to discuss, Robin Dreek, retired FBI special agent. We're hearing John Pryor plans to uh, call at least uh, seven expert witnesses to the stand in Chad Daybell's defense. Who? Why? What? What? Who? Who's standing up and raising their hand going, let me stand up for Chad Daybell? So let's think about this. I, I I don't know what kind of witness, expert witness you could bring forth except to verify that he was manipulated. So maybe a psych, uh, you know, for defense that says that, you know, that he was a victim as well. Uh, yeah. And that it's all her fault. I mean, he's going to jail. I mean, he's he's going to he's 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 done. I, I just don't see, especially when <laughs> all of a sudden, I mean, this is the same defense attorney wanted to get out of this. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just so <laughs> I yeah and 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 also um you know where is the money coming from uh to bring in these uh expert witnesses cuz they're not cheap and Chad oh. is indigent and uh I I don't know I mean does the state provide funding for these sort of things like are, are taxpayers literally bringing in expert witnesses to stand up for Chad Daybell because I don't I, I don't know I mean is that how that works I don't know either I yeah. it'll someone's got to pay it because you, I I just can't wait to see who they are and what are they yeah. going to say? I just, I, 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 when, when, when this was announced, I was like, huh, that's kind of interesting. It, yeah. You know, at least it'll keep it interesting a little bit. Cause otherwise, you know, it's like, why, why bother watching another trial? I, I, <laughs> I know. I mean, it, the same thing again. I wonder how much of, of the same we're going to see again, though. I mean, do you think we're going to see different angles here? Do you think we're going to see a very different case or trial than we saw against Lori? I think we're going to see very similar evidence, obviously, because they're both and they're in both conspiracy to mm -hmm. do exactly the same thing. I think we're going to potentially see more of his personality and him being a victim of her again. I can't think of another way to defend it yeah. and then to say that she was the mastermind because that's what the public thinks. You know, so I think when you are in a position where you have a losing hand like this, the best thing you can do is read the court of public opinion and kind of see where you can utilize that public opinion in your favor. If you have anything at all, you know, so yeah. I think if he shows a level of uh, contriteness, a level of, I can't believe I allowed this to happen to me, you know, and falls on a sword kind of thing um, and blames her for the entire thing. Uh, I think that's what I would uh, maybe do <laughs> but I mean, it's like what kind of a defense is that though it's like she made me do it and oh it, it's weak <laughs> is what it is <laughs> but but what else are you gonna do i, I literally yeah. don't know what else you're gonna do yeah. you know all those all those emails that i sent no those weren't me what yes they are yeah, yeah. I mean, what do you what do you say i mean there's I, <laughs> just i mean I, I mean and i can I, I can somewhat buy that maybe she was the one pulling the strings and directing him I want this done. Do this for me. And then he's like, oh, whatever, you know. Um, but again, that's not a defense. <laughs> that's, that's just like being complicit in a crime. <laughs> so Right. Or, or, or I think all you can do in that case is try to, you know, when it comes to sentencing, get a better deal. I yeah. mean, I literally, I, I don't see this going any other way. And I'm wondering, is that the main goal here at this point? I mean, I'm, I'm going to guess, I mean, John Pryor already said he doesn't want to be on the case. He was representing him. Uh, are, are they, are they, is he in any way trying to get him off? Like I, or is he no, like there's no chance of that. Our only goal here at this point is to basically save his life. Yeah. That's what I think it is. What else could it be? They're not going to get him off. I mean, no. I, I can't, how do you get him off? I mean, she, everything was so overwhelming against her that how can it, I, I mean, stranger things happen. I mean, the only way you can do it is is on you know something administratively that they screwed up getting evidence yeah. somehow, or or yeah. I mean that's I mean he did it, 
I mean, that's how often do we say that on the show? You know, is yeah. innocent until proven guilty? No, no, he's, yeah, he's guilty. I think no, no, no doubt about well, yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, early on in some of the affidavits where he was blaming her, it was like, yeah. you just basically admitted you did it without yep. admitting you did it. Yeah, yeah. I, I think they're going for the you know saving life right now. Yeah, m m m maybe a better prison to go to. I mean, literally, I mean, you're bargaining for. For scraps off yeah. the table at this point. I, I really think that's all this is. I think the only thing that could save him at this point is if there's some sort of miraculous thing that happens and truly Rexburg suddenly becomes the new Garden of Eden. Then it's like, holy shit, he was right all along. We I all got to go to Rexburg. A me I think a meteor strike is the only thing that's going to save him. <laughs> well, stranger things have happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, knock on wood, not sound it. But exactly. Nah, he's, he's, it's, he's done. I just don't. <laughs> that's why it makes it entertaining. You know, the fact that you claim things like this and you're looking at those nine counts, I'm like, yep. <laughs> you're done. <laughs> exactly. Hey, it's Tony Bruschi. If you like the podcast, be sure to like, subscribe, and press that bell so you don't miss any of our updates on the cases we're following for you right here at the Hidden Killers podcast and True Crime Today. And thanks.